Southern Illinois was a special place for phone freaks who appreciated the long-distance network. There were two telephone switching machines that were very rare for North America, one in Olney, the other in Marion. In April 1981, when Olney was close to retirement, I made extensive recordings of calling into it and SFing through it. Thanks to the Bell Lab's innovation, CCIS, which was purported to put an end to phone freaking, I was actually able to use Olney in a very easy way that almost anyone could do. I even could have controlled it by whistling if I was good enough at whistling, but I wasn't. So instead I used an old-fashioned rotary dial hooked up to a tone source so that it would beep out 2600 every time the dial spun around. And in that way I was able to reset the trunk to Olney and make calls go through to anywhere in the country. If I'd wanted to, I even could have completed calls for free without having to pay for them by getting to Olney through an 800 number and then calling someone I wanted to talk to. What follows immediately are calls dialed normally to the Olney Long Distance Sector, a part of Illinois that was entirely independent and all step-by-step. Step. So the Olney tandem just dials. On some of these calls, I will reset the trunk and dial into it causing the only tandem to MF out to other places. Olney and Marion were senderized step-by-step -step tandems, a very rare thing to find in the long-distance network of North America. As the recordings progress, I'll be concentrating more on things that I redirect Olney to connect us to, rather than just things in its own long-distance sector. The first call is to Albion, Illinois, where we're going to get a recording which was used as a standard tape all over the GTE of the Midwest area. This thing is like an anthem. I've heard it so many times. Good copies of it, bad copies of it. You'll hear it several times from several places in this set of recordings. I'm sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. For aid on a local call, dial the assistance. If a call call, dial the assistance. The clinic four. I'm sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. For aid on a local call, dial the assistance. If a call call, dial the assistance. The clinic four. The way this went through was strange because only sounded like it was dialing digits over 10 pulses. That didn't matter because it's a vacant level recording. Secondly, the numerical ID is not right for this little office in Albion. 6184 or 6185 would be an ID for the only or Marion tandems. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was real crosstalk. It cut right off at the end of the recording. That shows that the recording shorts the line, audio-wise, in between repetitions, but while it's playing, it's actually talkable.
the last call and this are to Calhoun, 863, and now we know it has St. Thomas Tone Plant. This is Dundas 754, which also has the St. Thomas tone plant. And that was a number one ESS call waiting beep. I'm going to have to stop the tape. Okay, I'm back. Dundas, Illinois has been changed or discontinued. For further assistance, please consult your directory or dial your operator. This is a recording. The number you have dialed in Dundas, Illinois has been changed or discontinued. For further assistance, please consult your directory or dial your operator. This is a recording. The number you have dialed in Dundas, Illinois has been changed or discontinued. I've reset the trunk and I'm going to dial 618-191-312 plus a filler digit. The Norway Illinois 4A has given us a satellite avoidance loop circuit. It is now waiting for MF tones, which I'm not going to supply, so it's going to time out to the P recording. We're sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and try your call again? This is a recording. 8151C. We're sorry, your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and try your call again? This is a recording. 8151C. We're sorry, your call did not go through. In the late 70s, AT&T started adding satellite circuits to their domestic long-distance network. It was a really bad idea, and I can tell you firsthand that it really interfered with a part of my life. I was calling my dad on the Upper West Side of Manhattan from Atlanta, and Atlanta to New York 6 was all satellite. So I was paying good money for the call, but I could never talk to my dad in real time, and to make matters worse, my dad had no concept of satellite delay. He just assumed that one of us, possibly him, was being slow. Anyway, it's good to know that by 1981, AT&T realized that it was necessary to get around the satellites. I don't know who got to do it, but they did arrange their network so that it could be done, and the code 191 was part of that. Apparently, the protocol was to send 191 plus the area code that you wanted to end up calling. At that point, the network would connect you to the appropriate office, which would give you a second sender, into which you could then key the number you really wanted. When I sent 618-191-312, the 618 was telling Olney to give this to Collinsville. Collinsville got 191-312, which meant please give me the satellite avoidance route for Chicago. That's Norway. 
which just gave us the little tone, and at this point we could have rekeyed the whole number and got a call through to Chicago. I don't know whether you could use this to stack. I never MF'd into it. It was something that came and went during a time when I wasn't MFing on the network. We're sorry, your call did not go through. By the way, the voice on the Norway 8151 recording is very familiar. That woman did the recording almost all the time during the years when I was recording. There were just certain people who we just kept hearing year after year, even when a 4A was replaced with a 4E. The next call is to Fairfield, Illinois. I'll let that go through to intercept, then I'll reset it and dial 314-191-501. Well, what do you know? It's an open sleeve. That happens in steps sometimes, when a line isn't rightly connected. Oh well, I can dial a 1 and advance the connector to the next line. The number you have reached is not in service. For aid on a local call, dial directly assistant. If a call call, dial your call operator. Okay, now here's 314, the area code for St. Louis, plus 191, the satellite avoidance code, plus 501, the area code for Arkansas. In this case, St. Louis does not allow it. This long pause after my last digit, the 4 only actually does anything, really happens. It's because I dialed an area code plus only 6 digits. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or call your operator to help you. This is a recording, 3143C. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again, or call your operator to help you. This is a recording, 3143C. Honey, guess what? They have a 4ESS at work, and I'm getting to do the recordings again. That's a brand new 4E that's about to replace both of the St. Louis 4As. Here's 062611, which is sending 611 into the Mount Vernon crossbar 5 tandem. When a reorder tone sounds like this, it's because two city rig machines are both providing the low tone which is being interrupted. They've got them both on at the same time. Hey, I hung up. Why did I do that? It was a perfectly good trunk. No need to hang up and redial, right? Well, actually, there was a need, because CCIS, the same system that makes it so easy to SF small tandems like only, has a fluke, and it's just random. Each supervision flash that you heard there was correctly conveyed to Atlanta. The first one occurred when Intercept flashed. The number you have reached is not in service. For aid on a local call... There you go. The second one occurred when I reset the intercept call 
to get the St. Louis recording. And then the third one occurred when I reset the St. Louis call. 3143C. Now that there have been three flashes, CCIS has this bug where the fourth flash will be extended to a long flash. So if I blew 2600 again, again, I'd be charged for that call to Illinois. You'll hear me do that later on down the tape. Anyway, this time, knowing that there had been three flashes on the call, I just hung up and made the next call, which is to Jeff, Illinois. <laughs> Most of the world communicates to only through MF. We're using dial pulsing, so on the next sequence, only will pause after my last digit just to make sure I don't have another digit to dial. O62 plus 101 is to get the test board in the Mount Vernon crossbar 5 tandem. Only will dial two digits to get the trunk to Mount Vernon and then MF 101. The static seems to be associated with the actual ring tone of the test board circuit. If they answered, the static would probably go away, so that's not something they're going to need to repair. Next call is to Newton, Illinois. We're going to get a soup test, which thanks to the CCIS bug, I'm going to have to bail out of right after the fourth flash. Yes, I definitely had to hang up at that point. First flash. Sounds good. Second flash. No problem. Third flash. That was a short one, but it was still fine. Now here's what it should have done from that point on. However, this is what it did. Yikes, it's still off hook. Goodbye. I'm 
sorry, the number you've reached in Parkersburg, Illinois, is not in service at this time. If you need assistance, please hang up and dial your operator. This is a recording. I'm sorry, the number you've reached in Parkersburg, Illinois... Hmm. I want to turn up my 2600 tone a bit. It's a little low. Make sure it hears me. All right, 618 is the unofficial routing code for Collinsville, so whatever we dial will go through there. One nine one satellite avoidance code. Two one two New York. There is a designated satellite avoidance route for New York. It'll be some place that's nearby, not necessarily in the same hierarchical routing chain. Ah, oh, we got a supervision flash with the tone that time. A lot of carrier noise. We'll see what tandem this is. Oh my, you know that's supposed to be a city ring? It's not working too well today. We're sorry. Your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and try your call again? This is a recording, 2032C. We're sorry, your call did not... It's New Haven 4, the main 4A for Connecticut, which I guess they use for satellite avoidance to New York when they have to. 2032C. We're sorry. Now I'm curious whether the old Hartford, Connecticut crossbar tandem is still in the network. I'll try it after dialing another call to the only sector. Geez, I just wanted to sit there listening to the step noise on that recording. Okay, 203 plus 022 plus a few more digits should get us a recording from the Hartford XBT if it still exists. Cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again or call your operator to help you. This is a recording 2034. We're sorry. Your call yep, still there, still has the city ring. That's good to hear in the early 80s. Now let's call a number that I call way too often. This is a recording 2034. What the hell? Well, it just shows you get a different sender every time. Let's enjoy it. Area code 
3552 in New York City. Please make a note of it. Now, I don't keep up with these things, but I've been told that my part of Long Island is now served by a brand new 4E that replaced Hempstead. Ringing forward will trigger that 4E to reset. In New York City. No, it's in Garden City. If you need assistance, you may stay on the line, and an operator will answer. Okay, here's a ring forward. Oh, man. I don't even want to hear it tying out to the reorder. Yikes. Okay, there you heard it. That was the fourth flash on the call, and the CCIS went off hook. Yikes. And when the only trunk went on hook, the CCIS did not follow right away. It would have gone on hook maybe three seconds later, enough to charge me. Thank you very much. So I had to ditch that call. Next call. Let me show you something cool. It is April 1981. Classic tandem stacking is now impossible because they sent memos out to the crossbar tandems to get it stopped. Thanks to all the articles that were published about it. But Ben and I didn't tell anybody about my kind of tandem stacking with Olney and Marion. Watch this. Now I've just dialed area code 317 plus one digit. All of 317 goes to one place, the Indianapolis 4E. Watch what happens. It's stacked. We're now sitting on the Indianapolis 4E, a switch which did not exist back in the days when I discovered this method. Here's the kind of reorder I would have gotten had I stayed on the line with Garden City. From this point on, there are some places where I stop the tape, redial the 800 number, and then start it up again. Here's one of them. Now I guess we should get the recording from the Indianapolis 4E. Here's 317191 plus four digits, and it doesn't like it. Cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again or call your operator to help you. This is a recording. 3172C. We're sorry. Your call. Three one seven one nine one three one four is a way of asking Indianapolis to get me a satellite avoidance circuit to eastern Missouri. Cool. These indie trunks have a definite howl to them, and that four E went somewhere. Please hang up and try your call again. This is a recording, 618-2C. We're sorry your call did not go through. Will you please hang up and well, try your call Well, what do you know? Collinsville, a, a very familiar place from here, is the satellite avoidance route that Indy would use for the 314 area of Missouri. We're sorry your call did not go through. Collinsville is the main outgoing tandem for the 618 area. 
And if you dial 618 into Olney or Marion, that will route your call through Collinsville. GTE decided to route 618 through Collinsville as a strategy to handle that small percentage of calls where customers dial their own area code 618 inappropriately. This was just an easy way to make the calls go through anyway, despite the fact that it's not the correct dialing procedure. So they dump 618 whatever onto Collinsville, and the call does go through. Now that's good for us, because we can use it as a routing code. For example, if we dial 618 plus 032 plus 131, that's going to make a call go first to Collinsville, that's the 618. And then Collinsville will come right back here to only, because we sent 032 next, and 032 is only's routing code, and it'll send 131 back here. Now we saw earlier that only is not handling its own directory assistance on 131. One three one in the old days would just ring directory assistance here in only, but now some other place handles it, and the direct trunks are busy, as you can hear here. Got a reorder. And there it sent O six four one one three one to something. Now, if we dial 618-032-131, we'll hear only sending the last six digits to Collinsville, which will then come back here, and then we'll hear only again MFing something to wherever 131 has to go. I'll start by dialing that only area 800 number, and then whistle it off once it starts to go through. All right, now the first set of MFs is only MFing to Collinsville, and then we'll hear only MFing again, having gotten the call back from Collinsville. There you go, two only operations on one call except the direct trunks were not busy, so we went right through to the directory assistance destination. Let's try again. There's some nice MF crosstalk here while we're waiting. Oh well, that's still cool, but too bad the direct trunks weren't busy when we did that. Otherwise, we would have heard something like this. Now, here's a call dialed normally to Willow Hill, one of the only tributaries. If you listen carefully, you can hear the familiar howl of N1 family carrier, especially on the ringtone of the vacant level recording. Once the recording's playing, a short burst of 2600 makes it go back to the ringtone.
I'm sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. For aid on a local call, dial directly assistance. If a toll call, dial your toll operator. I'm sorry, the number you have reached is not in service. For aid on a local call, dial directly assistance. If a toll call, dial your toll operator. I'm sorry, the number... I'm sorry, the number... Here, Olney is going to give me the vacant code recording from the Olney tandem itself. Being a senderized step, it will dial something to get the recording. Six one eight four is the official AT&T sanctioned ID code for the only tandem. The two is a GTE code, which I guess means vacant code. Marion did the same thing. And speaking of recordings, That, of course, was the famous Vancouver operator training recording, re-recorded onto a new announcement machine, still not updated to modern coin tones. Now let's see if 2111, the famous conference, is still there. One's not there anymore, but that is the Vancouver Step Tandem, 60437, formerly known as 6042 up until sometime in 1970. 
Now I'm going to start from scratch, dial the 800 number in speed calling, and SF613, the area code for Ottawa, 119 plus four digits. It's a special code for the recording that they use when customers dial their own area code 613. Unlike GTE in southern Illinois, Bell Canada does not want the call to go through. The number you have dialed is within your own area code. Please dial one and the seven-digit telephone numbers. This is a recording. 6135K. Le numéro que vous appelez est à l'intérieur de votre région téléphonique. Veuillez composer un et le numéro de téléphone. Ceci est l'enregistrement 6135K. Okay, first of all, the use of the letter K to designate the recording that says don't dial your own area code is not standard. And secondly, I was under the impression that the French pronunciation of K was K, not K. I tried 613 plus 117 1111 and something odd happens here. Do you hear that? It sounded like it was about to key pulse. But then it just froze. GTE is using that digit 3 for the recording that says your call did not go through. That's a new one on me. Back in the 70s, they would use a 5 on both Only and Marion. I'm about to get the vacant code recording, L, from the Ottawa 4A. L is a standard designation for that. Oops, that was a bad SF unit, which caused the loud recording to make the trunk flash, and one of those flashes got lengthened by that little CCIS bug, which was enough to charge me, and I timed back to dial tone 10 seconds later. Actually, I wasn't charged per se because I dialed the 800 number. 
Here is what the code 099 does if dialed in Ottawa's area code 613. This does not go off hook. RC, Eastern Standard Time, 22 hours, 26 minutes, and 40 seconds. CNRC, heure normale de l'Est, 22 heures, 26 minutes, et 50 secondes. NRC, Eastern Standard Time, 22 hours, 27 minutes, exactly. NRC, heure normale de l'Est, 22 heures, 27 minutes et 10 secondes. NRC, Eastern Standard Time, 22 hours, 27 minutes and 20 seconds. CNRC, heure normale de l'Est, 22 heures, 27 minutes et 30 secondes. NRC, Eastern Standard Time, 22 hours, 27 minutes, and 40 seconds. CNRC, heure normale de l'Est, 22 heures, 27 minutes, et 50 secondes. NRC, Eastern Standard Time, 22 hours, 28 minutes, exactly. That English-speaking voice is one I know from my childhood when I first started tuning around on shortwave radio and got this. CHU Canada, Eastern Standard Time, 14 hours, 48 minutes. 14 hours. 48 minutes. Yes, it's a time station. This is how it sounded in 1968 when I first heard it. The English-speaking announcer is Harry Manis of the CBC. The French-speaking announcer is also from the CBC, but I can't pronounce his name right. I don't know whether it's the same French announcer on the phone as on shortwave. CHU Canada, heure normale de l'Est, 14 heures, 49 minutes. 14 hours, 49 minutes. Well, that's it for this segment. Beautiful stuff. I don't mean those beeps necessarily. The network. You getting what I meant when I talked about hanging out on a mountaintop and looking down at the clouds? Well, now you've had a similar experience by listening to this program. This particular series of programs contains some that you'd probably want to hear over and over, and I would count this one in that list. But the next segment is one that you'll probably only want to hear once. It's interesting enough to hear one time, and it covers a few things that happened in 1980. That's next. <laughs> 